Okay, so we left off here. I talked about uh, maybe having a pulses come into some transistor here that whacks this thing on and off. So, so let's do that. Uh, we're going to have the same circuit, and this time we're going to put in a 555 timer and an N channel FET, and that'll that'll pull down to ground. So we'll have high going pulses on the 555, and then we'll get low going pulses on the uh, on the switch. So uh, this is what I've this is what I've got on the breadboard. I've got a little 555 circuit here. You can buy these on eBay. They're really cool. This is a nice one. It's got all kinds of adjustable ranges, and you can adjust the uh, a duty cycle and uh, speed and stuff like that. So we'll hook this one up, and I've got an end channel FET here. And then um, up here we've got the inductor and uh, diodes down there, and here's the uh, capacitor. And uh, so it's whacking on and off. All right, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna hook this up, and uh, I want to put a load on it. Okay, and so I'm going to uh, put a load on the output, and I'm gonna put a uh, oh let's say I think last time we used a 400 and 470k load. Okay. So that's the load we're going to get, and uh, so uh, let's take a look at at this point here. Okay, this is the point where we're pulling down on it and then letting it go. So there's our waveform. We're pulling it down. Then when we let it go, it pops up, and then it comes back down. And it's not shooting up all the way because now we have a load resistor that limits the uh, 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 changes the uh, impedance of the output, and so it's not going to kick up all the way. It's going to be clamped down a little bit because of that uh, because of that load. All right. So now uh, we have this whacking on and off, and uh, we can take a look at voltages. So let me uh, let me disconnect the uh, let me disconnect the wire. Okay. So we will set the uh, uh, we will set the DC volts to ten. Okay, so let's uh, let's increase our place our voltage up here a little bit. Okay, so we're looking at ten volts. All right, so I've adjusted it so that uh, we're now measuring ten volts right there. So we'll have a little bit more than ten volts coming in because of the diode drop. But now we're measuring ten volts, and everything is DC. Now I'm going to start to add the uh, going to start to add the uh, pulses. And so let's do that on let's do that on camera so you can watch it do it. So now I'm going to add add the pulsing, and there we go. Our voltage our voltage goes up. And let's see how many volts we get out of it. We're getting 22, 23, 24. Yeah, it's slowing down. So there we go, 25, 25 volts. So we've gone from 10 volts to 25 volts. And uh, let's change the uh, let's change the load. Let's see how much current we can get out of this thing. Let's say we're we're shooting for a 20. Uh, two to one. We're shooting for 20 volts. Okay, so I'm going to increase the uh, increase the load on the output, and you can see that we're coming down. Let's see. Oh, it's oh, off just about right. So we can get about 20. Let me go back. No, that's too much. Go back here. So we're getting about 20 volts out with a 220 ohm, a 220k ohm load. So we've adjusted this to 220k, and this is giving us out 20 volts. Okay, so if we do the math on that, uh, let's see, we've got uh, 20 volts and 220k, which is 90 microamps. Okay, so we're getting 90 microamps out of this converter. Um, not a lot, <laughs> but I think you can see the concept here. Um, when we pulse this on and off, 
we get to, we get nice looking waveforms um, and then the little peaks make it through the diode and they start charging up the capacitor and we stretched it out with 10 volts and now we're getting 20 volts yeah it's pretty cool All right. so I hope that's a little better uh, you will see this type of circuit in uh, and a lot of uh, DC to DC converters. Uh, there's generally a chip here and uh, the way that they uh, regulate this thing is like I said to bring the voltage around and then they'll modify the pulsing depending on the voltage out here so if the the voltage uh, starts to drop they'll pulse faster and if uh, the voltage uh, gets too high they'll start pulsing slower and a lot of times, this is on a high voltage side. Uh, this may be a 300, 400 volt section, and they're uh, pulsing uh, on, on on high voltage, and so they keep this isolated. They keep the ground separate, and they'll actually have an optocoupler that uh, sorry, an optocoupler that uh, feeds back the uh, feeds back the information of whether this is high or whether this is low. Sent sent across an optocoupler to uh, to isolate this over here. All right, that's part two. Hope people enjoyed that.